Okay, I'm just chopping a little scotch bonnet pepper here because I'm gonna chunk it. So it's just half, half a scotch bonnet that I'm gonna do. We're gonna start with the dal. So let's come to the pot. So in here, let's get some oil and get this pot nice and hot. What I did with the split peas, I used a bag of yellow split peas, right? And then in my pressure cooker, with just enough water to cover the split peas, I put a teaspoon of turmeric, about um, you know two or three pinches of salt, and a little bit of garlic. And I pressurize these split peas for a good 20 minutes so that they're nice and cooked and soft. Okay. The thing about split peas is you have to keep an eye on them because they stick to the bottom of the pot and then you get split peas bun bun and that just doesn't do it, all right? So already I've got this beautiful yellow color from the turmeric and, you know, my split peas are cooked. What I'm going to do at this point is add all kinds of different elements, flavor elements, texture elements, maybe things that you wouldn't ordinarily see in a dal. When your oil is nice and hot, I'm gonna add my scotch bonnet pepper. When I was living in Jamaica a few years ago, I had a great friend called Sean, and he was a fantastic cook. He actually is the one who showed me how to make this dal. I'm going to put into this a spoonful of garam masala. Let the spices cook. A little bit. I'm also going to put in a little bit of whole jeera. And I'm going to just leave this and let it cook for a little while. So let's go and chop up some veggies for this dal. So my dal is going to have onions in it. Let's get these guys chopped up a little bit. I try not to be sort of too obsessed. A little bit of garlic. And what we do here is we burn the garlic and then we put it on top the dal at the end, but I'm not going to do that. And some tomato. Let's add our onions and garlic at this point. That's nice. Ooh, that smells good. You want your spices to cook a little bit, but you don't want them to burn. And also, you don't want them to be raw when you're adding the onions. Just let them cook. I'm also going to add a little sai, and at the end, I'll throw in a little shadow berry. completely delicious. What we're gonna do is put the heat very low, put the cover on, and with the split peas again, because of their propensity to burn, you're gonna put your heat really, really low. And just leave that to cook for a couple of minutes, and there it is, easy peasy dough. All right, let's take a look at my beautiful dough. It's cooked, it's totally delicious, and I'm just gonna keep it hot. I'm gonna make a seafood curry using the yellow curry paste that I just made, right? So here we go, in a pot. This is regular, just vegetable oil I'm using here, right? 
So I'm going to throw in a little garam masala here, just a pinch, get me frying up. Just a little cumin, not too much. All right, in the meantime, this is going to cook out for a little bit. Just let spice mix cook for a bit. So this curry is going to have lots of bits in it. Let's start working on those. All right, onions. They've got a bowl of mushrooms. Now, what I'm going to do is use the little mushrooms. I'm not going to cut them at all. I'm just going to leave them as is. Now, do two tomatoes. Again, just chopped up a little bit. All right, what I'm putting in here is I've got a bag of seafood mix. When you go to the supermarket and you buy something like this, actually, sometimes, you know, we talk about the cost of food right now, and what you've got to do is actually explore different possibilities. I find that this is a very reasonably priced thing, all right? So you've got a seafood mix, and it's got mussels and squid and all kinds of good things in there, and I'm going to add some extra shrimp. So these are just being cleaned and shelled, deveined, okay? All right. I'm going to add my curry paste. I'm going to put a good tablespoon. Well, that's a heaping tablespoon. Like that. Onions in here. I'll just pop everything in one time, actually. I know I'm not supposed to do that in the gourmet school, but this is the Marielle school. I want to cook this. Try not to burn your curry paste, because it's got all these lovely, subtle flavors. So on a medium to low heat, you're going to cook these onions. Just chucking in some seasoning pepper. A little garlic. Just like two cloves of garlic. So. So we're popping in here. This is coconut evaporated milk. It's totally delicious. I'm gonna put in here a lot of little mushrooms. Just the little ones. It's great because we grow these button mushrooms in Trinidad now, so they're available almost all year round and totally delicious. Okay. Okay. Pinch of salt. What I'm gonna do is put the lid on here and let this cook for a little five to ten minutes. Let the mushrooms cook first, okay? Put the lid on. Let's leave that to cook for a little while. Let's take a quick look. Right. So, oh, this smells so fabulous. You can smell the coconut. You're smelling all those wonderful herbs and spices. Yummy. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the fish. Oh, sorry. The shellfish. We've got shrimp, and I basically just seasoned it with salt and pepper. That's going in there. And also we've got the seafood mix. I'm going to pop the whole thing in there too. Now, this basically, it just needs to cook for another five minutes maximum. You just want to get the seafood cooked, all right? 
So let's put the lid on there. Check out our dowel. What I want to do is just put a little bit of shadow benny in the dowel, just a little bit of fresh flavor. So I'll take my two leaves. You know, kitchen scissors are something you should really invest in because I use them all the time and they just, they make certain things a lot easier. So a little shadow then. And the dial right at the end. Let's take a look at our beautiful seafood curry, which is looking pretty fabulous, and it smells great. So all I'm going to do now is add a little bit of kind of just fresh green taste with some coriander, and I'm literally just going to chuck it in on top there. Put the lid on. That's our seafood curry.